Following the course suggested by Rip Bender, Jimmy Allen with Speed Robertson and Flash Lewis as companions has reached the little airport at Potter, Texas, just at dusk. At the previous stop, a crooked mechanic on the field changed spark plugs in the engine of the plane, causing a forced landing. The boys also caught the gangsters Ace and Biffer in the act of leaving the field. Attempted to stop them, but the bandits got away. It is now the following morning. Speed has become a bit suspicious of these stops recommended by Bender and has cautioned Flash to thoroughly inspect their ship. And now we find them on the field at Potter, ready to take off. Well, boys, the weather doesn't look any too good. Those clouds are running low. Oh, gosh, I hope we can go on through, Speed. I ain't anxious to go nowhere in bad weather. Well, we'll have a weather report by radio in a few minutes. If it's all right south of here, we'll shove right along. The weather from San Angelo Airport should be broadcast, or I think about 7.50, Speed. Okay. Let's see now. It's 7.48 and a half. Say, you better tune in your set, Jim. We want to catch that report. I'm watching it. How about a ship and engine, Flash? Remember, we're taking no chances from now on. Well, I'll say we ain't. I spent the last half hour looking this buggy over. She's all right. You know, as I recall it, there's a stretch of bad country between here and San Angelo. Now, we don't want any more forced landings. We might not be so lucky next time. I ain't trusting anybody. My eye don't leave this buggy until we're in the air. Uh Oh, just a second. Be still a second now. I want to hear this weather report. It's coming in. Okay, Jimmy. You're sure you're tuned in on San Angelo? I'm quite sure. Now, wait a second. Now, here it is. San Angelo Tower to all planes. San Angelo Tower to all planes. San Angelo weather. Solid overcast. Ceiling, 100 feet. Visibility, one mile. Temperature, 65. Dew point, 62. Wind, northeast, 4. Barometer, 2909. Condition of airport, good. San Angelo out. San Angelo out. Huh. You know, this cloud must cover the whole southwest. Only a hundred feet ceiling at San Angelo. Well, if it gets bad, we can sit down at Sweetwater and Abilene. You think it's all right, huh, Steve? Well, the indications are that it may rain and get bad, but it's fair enough now. What'll our course be, then? Yeah, let's, let's unfold this map. Okay. Huh. Now. Now, here we are at Potter. Uh-huh. Okay, we'll take off and go straight on through to San Angelo, gas at the airport there, and then make right for Devil's Pass Airport. It'll then be just a short jump down at the Diamond A Ranch. Sounds good to me. I have the course marked out on the map. Let's see, here it is. 200 degrees on the compass. Uh, that, that looks about right. I'll tell you what, Jim, I don't think these low clouds are very thick, so when we take off, you bore right on up through them and fly with your compass. It'll be good practice for you. Oh, just what I want to do, too. Oh, and gee, Speed... It sure is a wonderful sight. The sun shining down on those sparkling clouds. That is that, kid. I always enjoy it, too. And now, wait a minute. Where's that fellow that runs the airport? Oh, yeah, there he is talking to Flash. Hey, come over here a second, will you? Yeah, you bet I will, Mr. Robertson. Well, what do you have? I've never been over this course from Potter to San Angelo before. But as I recall the country, isn't there a bad stretch along here by the Brazos River on the map? Well, I'll say there is. You hit it about 40 miles south of here. Just before you get to the Brassos. See, it's uh, right along in here. Oh, yeah. And then for about 70 miles, it's plenty tough. All broken up with canyons and low hills. Hardly a spot there that you can get an airplane in. We call it no man's land. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, we'll be above the clouds. We won't even see it, I hope. Yeah. There ain't a thing out there but rattlesnakes and coyotes. About a year ago, a fellow started out there from here... Well, that bad stretch of territory, and he really had trouble. He landed in a dried-up bed in a creek, washed out his ship, and it took him three days to get out. Boy, he was plenty fagged out when he got back here. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. It isn't any fun hiking through that brush when you're not prepared. Well, how's the country after that? Well, it's all right. We won't hit any more rough spots until we get down near Devil's Pass Airport. Ain't there some way to avoid that bad country? Well, you can go around by the way of Wichita Falls. Well, it takes you quite a piece out of your way. Yeah, but it might be worth it. Oh, there you go again, Flash. If you didn't have something to worry about, you couldn't be happy. Yeah, but I ain't anxious to make friends with no rattlesnakes. What if we did have to land out there? Well, that's your lookout, Flash. You're the mech on this trip. We won't have to sit down as long as the engine keeps running. Yeah, but even engines quit once in a while. <laughs> Listen to him. <laughs> I guess we better pick out a room for you in the old ladies' home, Flash. I can see you're not going to have much fun on this trip. 
You know, we should have sent Flash ahead with Rip Bender. They'd get along well together. Yeah, that's an idea. How'd you like that, Flash? All right, I give up. I ain't saying another word. Okay, Flash, we're going to hold you to that. Now, Jim, we're all set. As soon as we get off, pick up your course and check it before you get up into the clouds. You have a little crosswind, so watch your drift. And remember, use your compass. You can't fly by section lines down in this country. I'll watch it, all right. Okay, let's crawl in and get going. Okay, here we go again. Oh, by the way, I want to run up the engine again before we take off. Yeah, go ahead. Give her a twist, run her up. She ought to turn up better in 2,000 on the ground. Well, I'll see what it does. Pour it to her. Sounds all right. What did she read then? 2100. I guess we're all ready. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Wait, I I want to fix something here, boys. Uh, what's the trouble? Well, this here metal door in your engine cowling is loose. What's the matter with it? Here, let me take a look at it. When you turned up your engine, it was flapping back and forth. I thought you looked this ship over, Flash. Well, that guy must be crazy. Hey, fella, what door do you mean? Why, uh, this here door back near the firewall. Maybe you better get out and take a look, Flash. Remember what happened up at Higley? I tell you, I just got through looking over this ship. I'll get out, though, and see what's the trouble. Wait a minute. Wait, I'll, I'll see what the trouble is. One of those cowling pins should loose. I'll have it fixed in just a jiffy, boy. There's no need of you getting out at all. Oh, I thought it was something like that. I knew it couldn't be nothing serious. Them pins lose their tension and shake loose every once in a while. You mean a cowling pin that holds the door shut? Yeah, that's it. I got some extra ones here in my pocket. I always carry around a few extra cowling pins and a little copper wire for safety and turn buttons. Yeah, go ahead and put one in. Yeah, let's get out of this place. We got a full day's plan ahead of us. Gee, I'll say we have. When we get to San Angelo, Flash, you better go over that cowling and check your cotter pins, too. We can lose a lot of time fooling around with stuff like this. Okay, I'll do it. But I thought all them pins was new. Well, there you are, boys. She's all right now. Much obliged, mister. We'll be seeing you. Yeah, yeah. Have a good trip, boys. And, uh, good luck to you. All right, Jimmy. Watch the gun door. Okay, hang on. Here we go. a good nap if it wasn't for thinking about that. Well, another half hour and we'll be over some good country at this rate. Say, Speed, what should my oil pressure show? Your pressure gauge ought to show around 80, Jim. Why, what's the matter? It's dropped down to 60. Well, that's funny. It shouldn't vary that much. How about that, Flash? Well, if the oil system's all right, the pressure should stay right at 80. There shouldn't be anything wrong with the system. We put in new oil before we left Kansas City. Uh oh. It's dropped down to 50. Oh, gee, now it's down to 45. Say, what the deuce is going on here? I don't like the sound of that. You don't need to tell me. Oh, I knew something was going to happen. I could feel it in my bones. We certainly shouldn't lose that much oil pressure. Oh, gee, it's down to 30 now. What had I better do, Speed? Ah, there isn't much we can do. I can't figure out what's happened, though. Did you clean out that oil screen, Flash? Well, it's the first thing I've done this morning. There ain't a speck of dirt in that oil system. I'll gamble on it. Oh, what in the world would cause it? Oh, the pressure's down to 15 now, fellas. Ah, this isn't rotten luck. Down to 15? 
Are you reading that gauge right, Jim? I haven't taken my eyes off of it for five minutes. And it's slipping lower, too. It's almost down to ten now. Say, something's terrible wrong. What are we going to do about it, Speed? What are we going to do? That's a fine time to be asking me. It's a cinch we can't get out up here and fix that engine. Well, I'll say we can. Uh-oh. My engine temperature's gone up to 210 degrees, and the pressure's almost to zero. Ah, uh, that's bad, real bad. we got to do something right away. This engine's heating up. It's a sure sign of trouble. Shall we try to go along a while? Now, you can't do it if the engine's getting hot. It's getting plenty hot, all right. Uh-oh, the temperature's up to 220 degrees now. It's no use, kid. You can't run the engine this way. It'll ruin it. It's getting awfully hot now. Smell that. It's burning the paint off the cylinders. Catch your switches, Jim. We're going to have to sit down. Okay. All right, Jimmy, take a general glide and go right on down through the clouds. What will we do? What will we do? What can we do? Just sit here and wait. Yeah, but that bad country is below us. Yeah, we'll have to take a chance. When we come out below the clouds, we'll see what it looks like then. Yeah, and them rattlesnakes and coyotes will be waiting for us. Let's bail out of this pack. So, once again, Rip Bender's efforts to keep Jimmy and Speed from reaching the Croft Ranch in Texas have succeeded. How will Jimmy handle this dangerous situation? For more excitement, be sure to listen to the next thrilling episode of The Air Adventures of Jimmy Allen.